hi and welcome to this likely very short stream uh, I had announced previously that um, the author of the root list had released uh, an update to the root list including an epilogue um, uh, which I had also said that I'm going to read it out uh, at some point and that point is now it will likely be an high anacron well that's, I'm glad that worked uh, it will very likely be a very short stream since the epilogue isn't that long uh, but I I just thought I need uh, I need this for the campaign to be complete so let's start this is not that important I already tested it, it does work oh. So, before I actually start reading this out, a recap. Ashak, Jorok, Zurg, they made it to that last battlefield with the elves. Where the elves uh, were completely ready and had more than enough uh, strength to wipe out all those grouped out up orcs. Which would have very likely um, made it very hard for the orcs to establish them themselves in any shape or form if at all. Uh, so this was quite literally uh, a fight for the survival of the race on this uh, on this continent. And they knew they could not uh, win this fight without sacrifices. Ashak sent Turok and Sturk away before the wave hit and Ashak perished in that wave while Logamir survived. But Logamir survived without pretty much everyone he led uh, into this fight everyone who like basically um, a huge elite of elvish uh, warriors and archers and I don't know if shamans as well but yeah the toll of blood was high one day the story of Ashak, Torok and Sturk will be forgotten it will eventually fade from your mind as well before you take your last breath. Even the stone itself won't endure. Time will grind down the mightiest mountains and shatter the grand structures of mortals. Some fear oblivion above all and try to fight and to fight it, only to succumb to it even sooner. Others welcome oblivion, because it is the only thing that can end, that can end their suffering. But there are also those who draw strength from their impermanence by accepting their true nature. All of the survivors, but without Ashak. Damn. They know that what is worth the most is not what is without end, but what there is precious little of. And that's the epilogue already. So, um, basically also to recap, the epilogue exp uh, ex spe specifically what you see in the epilogue depends on your playthrough. So for example, there was a scene out of the dark, and if I had uh, gone with the fire instead, there would have been a different scene. And of course, if Torok hadn't survived, we wouldn't have seen um, in that uh, in that second last slide, basically. And uh, I think I feel like playtesting was happened was shown twice now, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, uh, Toruk might have prob possibly been at Ashak's side if if Toruk had died earlier, but I do not know. Hmm. Beyond that, I of course do not know what exactly the other the other uh, word the other scenes would have been. But anyway. The unit, yeah, the unit times also correspond to the ones I had in S7. That is nice. Beyond that, thanks for watching, and I hope, even though it might have not have been the conclusion 
you, you, you would normally expect from uh, an epilogue, it is still an epilogue you can also be satisfied with. Because I am and yeah. Basically, thanks for uh, letting me stream that. For now. Oh, a volcano scene if I did the fire and Martian or Drokotin might appear. It makes sense. Uh, is there anything else you would like to add, Anacron? Because otherwise I would end the stream since the able look is very much over. Okay, perfect. In that case, I hope you enjoyed the campaign. Goodbye.